Hello there, pair of peeps, and welcome to another episode of what are we? Our haunted travels. Let's talk paranormal live. I am your host Sean Donnelly. I'm your co-host Marianne Donnelly. I, I got numbers in my head. Numbers, numbers all <laughs> over the place. Oh, hope you guys are having a great Saturday afternoon. It is 5 p.m., which is live at five. It is. One more week of vacation, and then I'm back to the grind. That you are. I don't, you know, I've taken some some time off of YouTube, as you guys probably may have noticed. Probably not. (laughs) We posted one video last week. Um, Say it isn't so. Yeah. And probably going to be the same next week. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, the plan was to get caught up on videos. I haven't even worked on video one yet got ideas together i've been working on the database and then you've been busy on the database i said let's do kind of like an easy topic for let's talk paranormal let's 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 do an intro on numerology (laughs) (laughs) that's the past two and a half days oh all right so i hope you guys like the new uh bumper there at the beginning got nine people watching I have 11. You have 11? Mm Mm-hmm. I think it worked. What do you guys think about the new intro? Yeah, everybody's here early. Did you like it? I actually was working on a new set, too, and that didn't get finished because I'll tell you you what's going on here. Um, Let's get to this list here. First, we want to thank our show and channel supporters. Would you like to read them off? Uh, We have... AJK Consulting Services, uh, BUB Unique, and Joanne Reagan is in the house today, so that's BUB Unique. Uh, Happy Trails Hiking, Lori Bryant, she is in the house today as well. Uh, I don't know if I saw the others. Mark Cole Agency is in, not in the house, but he is one of our sponsors, sh- supporters. And Timey Lives. Did you say Happy and Trails Hiking? I did say Happy okay. Trails Hiking. All right, I see Big Island Bear. I know, Polly. We still have your little, we got to get those mailings out. Too. I know. We have a big, we've got like a box we got to send to Polly. We, we, have, we have our stuff right here on the table from Polly, actually. I was thinking about eating some How of can it. you become a show supporter? You can go over to Patreon and be a $5 a month or more Patreon supporter. That's right. And your name will get on the list and on the list of all of our videos. And uh, we appreciate it very much. It very, very much. Trust me. We really <laughs> do. Because, well, I won't get into that. Polly says that you he not swam over we early through. to catch us. He swam. Well, thank you, buddy. You guys will <laughs> not believe what I had to go through with last week's stream. Let's just say, yeah. yeah. It's fixed, but... I don't get it. I don't care anymore. You know, we're here for you guys. We're here to document our travels and have fun and everything. I'm tired of messing with YouTube and everybody else and all that other stuff. But, yeah, we got a strike against us last time. If you guys were here last week and saw that show that well, we put it, together. You said it wasn't a strike. It was a... Well, no, co- it, it wasn't It wasn't a claim. channel strike. It was a copyright ID claim, okay, which doesn't affect your channel. It's just all the revenue goes to some other person. And... Uh, I used everything from Epidemic Sound. We pay for that. We we pay for all that other stuff. If you were here last week, you saw the work we put into the stream and all that stuff, and then it came back and said that, and I was just like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? It was the first nine seconds of that intro, that little, oh. Uh... <laughs> so I reached out to YouTube. Okay, I'm going to go on a rant because I need to get this out okay. anyways. I reached out to YouTube. You know, we're, you're supposed to have support and everything from YouTube. Then I immediately reached out to Epidemic Sound because they're supposed, you know, you pay for their service and they're supposed to mediate for you and all this other stuff. And then I found or filed a dispute against the copyright. I'm like, no, I downloaded this from Epidemic Sound. I didn't steal this from anybody. Right? It was just the beginning part where the moon came up. YouTube comes back and says, I should seek a lawyer, legal advice. I'm like, what? Really? That was their response. I didn't respond back. They sent a survey. I didn't fill it out because it would would have been ugly. Epidemic come back and said, no, it's not an audio strike. It's a visual strike. 
No, it wasn't. I sent them a screenshot. It said audio strike. I think that they did said that because you sent them a picture. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I think that they didn't read the picture. I think they just saw, oh, it, he sent me a JPEG or whatever. So finally, <laughs> the, the other YouTuber who that claim, I think that's automated, actually, came back and said, no, that wasn't our music and everything's fine now. But just like two days of like depression. You know, it's like we put all that into that and then bam. We, we specifically watch for copyright and free use and all that other stuff. And Okay, ran over. Sorry. How many people dropped off after that one? <laughs> yeah, we lost three. Probably did we get a thumbs down? Not a thumbs down yet. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Uh, I, I didn't even have that rant on here. Uh, it's the not agenda. even on your to-do no, list. No, it's not. It's no. not. Okay. Um, <laughs> So today's agenda, we got a couple more little bit of house cleaning things to talk about. We got, we're going to cover some news items. Mm. Uh, we got some big news uh, for us and some things that you found on the internet was kind of cool. Marianne's eBay updates coming up. Um, we're going to talk about what's going on with the channel and uh, Panic D database got some nice changes done the other day. And then we're going to go over intro into numerology now before we went live we had some people that uh oh who was it because uh, i responded back to her uh jamie ray's paranormal wonders looked in research numerology and loved it um so hopefully she sticks around because she probably knows a lot more than we do we've crammed the past two and a half days in numerology and we could probably i mean there are books after books the documentaries and you can even go take classes on this stuff. It, it's yeah. it's pretty interesting. So, um, all right. At this point, would you like to do a roll call? Sure. I didn't ask anybody to put anything in chat, but right now, if you could just say, hey, do you believe in numerology real quick in chat and give us about 10 seconds, and then Marianne's going to do a roll call real quick and say hello to everybody. All right. Well, I have 3D Matic Vince, Big Island Bear, BWYA Adventures, Happy Trails Hiking, Inspired John, Irish Whiskey Paranormal, Joanne Reagan, Annette Reagan, Lori Bryant. We also have the Lady Vamp, and as you said, Jamie's Jamie Ray's Paranormal Wonders. And I think that is everybody, unless I missed someone. So if I missed you, say hello. All right, and as we go through, we will say uh, hello to you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, pretty interesting topic today. Ghost it's, Mafia and Brandon Ghost Mafia. Jose Ghost Mafia Paranormal. Is, see, he's got that Southern Ohio, Northern West Virginia slang lurking. <laughs> Love it, buddy. Um, okay, so did the roll call news items beyond the edge radio is back that it is in a podcast format so if you guys don't uh know what that is could and most of you probably don't because i put a post out on twitter and nobody even like eh, okay whatever <laughs> beyond the edge radio is how we get started doing this that's right with the haunted spotlight okay eric altman he was on our show before he was the gentleman that put together the bigfoot PA, bigfoot, PA, bigfoot, bigfoot camping camp. adventure he was on talking about bigfoot but he's the producer of beyond the edge radio it used to be a weekly live internet show right and we went on every two weeks and marianne did the haunted spotlight live in 15 minutes yes so if you watch our videos about the history and that kind of stuff, the narration that Marianne does, she did it live. But I also minutes. added in the stuff that Boris does with all of the stories and the paranormal hauntings. And then you would come in and mention, hey, these are all the claims we have listed in the database. Yeah, yeah. so that's how we got started. And then it went on hiatus for a little while. Eric had some things in life to take care of and and you know things like that and we got the idea for our haunted travels to expand it a little bit and let's start doing the channel so that's the origins of our channel how we actually got into the format and everything on on how we're doing stuff mm -hmm. so beyond the edge radio is back and there's seven of us in the podcast it was fun Besides the technical issues. Now, Beyond the Edge Radio has, has a curse. It has always had technical issues. Yeah, especially with live. It was horrible. 
doing it live. And even the podcast, we have problems. You know, we're all across the country. Eric's in PA. Marie's in uh, uh, Seattle, no, Seattle, Washington. Washington yeah. uh, Somebody's Jay's in, in Wisconsin. Yeah, so these are names. Sean uh, Forker, Eric Altman, Marie Samuels, Jay... But, but chosen. But chosen, which I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna ask the all these guys. I'm gonna ask them all if they want to come on the show, and Fred Cracky, um, and then us. But uh, yeah, Jay actually, we we after the show we watch it. He has a documentary on uh, Amazon, which mm-hmm. is kind of. I think you we gotta watch it again because I think you kind of. Yeah, I fell asleep. Yeah, that was a late night. We were supposed to start it eight and with technical difficulties i think it was nine ten o'clock by the time we got started yeah. and, but we had fun it was great so it's gonna be a once a month podcast coming out beyond the edge radio right now the the first show that went out the last numbers i saw was 1600 downloads already mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. something yeah and, and it only went out a few days ago yeah so it's you know it's a big deal mm-hmm. so uh, it's pretty cool. It's on our Twitter, and uh, yeah, but we'll that's be posting how, stuff out. I think I posted in the Pair of Peeps group too. But that's so. how we got started, uh, bringing the the you know locations to life, so to say. Yeah. And uh, it was super stressful when we used to do it live because it was like you can't mess up, and if you do, I I would be re- reading from the computer, and I would like move my my hand and the mouse would move i'd be like tiny yeah and and like the screen would go whoosh, yeah. and i'm like while you're reading it live so the next thing that i was going to be talking about was this as i'm trying to like find it and i'm talking at the same time it was crazy yeah it was uh it was interesting yeah, it was definitely, yeah. but the podcast was fun because okay so we come from the paranormal history standpoint and and, and paranormal investigations from the spirits you know type thing yeah. and then there's uh jay and who has a background in that too but jay and eric are cryptid uh researchers Big Big marie's time. into the occult and um ouija and, yeah, it, well, yeah that would be a call and yeah. serial killers and that in kind case of stuff people didn't and know. then frank's been or fred has been around for like ever yeah and, and he's he's so into Sean, bigfoot so. and all that kind of stuff too so it's just yeah these and guys UFOs, are like talk show so it's pretty much every piece it was of paranormal. awesome we were talking about the area 51 thing and mm-hmm. it was coming from these different point of views and before you knew it, it was like an hour was over it's like wow yeah but yeah i'm really looking forward to that so yeah. hope you guys yeah think about checking it out it's pretty cool yes. all right so what else do you have for so, news items so speaking of the area 51 thing the storm area 51 has been so popular that uh there's now a call out to do storm Loch Ness to find Nessie on the next day on the next day so on the (laughs) 21st of September you gotta fly from area 51 over to Europe and kind (laughs) of get to Loch Ness so there's the that what's kind of fun about that is they're they're saying you know hey you won't have to worry about the military stuff however it's a little bit deep and it kind of gets kind of big waves and you know you can get lost that way you know so uh it, it sounds like they're gonna kind of try to keep this thing yeah, going try now. to keep it going yeah find all the um, cryptids so uh, you you found something else about skittles for halloween this year they're gonna be having <laughs> A special Skittles flavor that is going to go into the packets. It's called zombie. zombie flesh or human flesh or something like that. So beware of your Skittles. Because they said that these <laughs> special packages, they're going to have names of the other colors to be kind of like Halloweeny as well. However, these flesh tasty ones, which by the way, who came up with what the flesh tastes like? Did we like go visit like, you know, some cannibals? I don't know. But anyway, uh, they said that um, they're going to be the same color as the other ones. So you won't be able to like pick it out. Like Jelly Belly has those, you know, gross flavors. They have that game where you have to like eat a gross one or whatever. They have a different like you can 
figure those ones out. Okay, but that's this, enough. That's just like this me... human flesh one in the Skittles, they said that they're going to be the exact same color. You're not going to be able to tell them apart from the others. And they're going to, and it's not going to just be one color. They will be all the different colors uh, that are in the package. So you, you just will never know. <laughs> so beware of the Skittles for Halloween. That. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> All right, so one thing, another thing in the in the news, this kind of YouTube news, community news, one thing I want to mention, okay? We have a community member that we're really close with that's kind of on a goal alert, okay? So a lot of people that's in here is is part of communities that we belong to and everything like that. So I'm going to let everybody know they're at 1979. We're trying to get to we don't do this a lot okay that's not what our channel is about and what the show's about but they do deserve to be over 2000 and that's happy trails hiking can you drop the link in there bam so whatever you guys can do check out their videos i'm telling you they just got back from a trip out west and wow yeah they have we've been out west but we flew over this stuff <laughs> marianne's personally been there i haven't been there but some of these views are grand teton are you kidding me beautiful stuff yeah and awesome videos so you know check it out if you haven't saw it happy trails hiking tell people let's get them over 2000 i know we could do it as a community we could do it of course we can they deserve it they deserve over 5000 but you know just doing our part alert <laughs> alert alert <laughs> all right well it looks like uh the the zombie flesh is not going to be a popular one for our pair of peeps they're like uh -uh. <laughs> they're like i know what i'm not eating for halloween so that's kind of funny <laughs> yeah Maybe we need to pass that out. We get like two. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what we're. We get two Halloweeners. We get two Halloweeners. We're gonna. You know what though? If we go to the cakewalk, we're gonna get those and pass them out and attach the Panic D videos card to it. The zombie flavored. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. I'm not eating. Oh dear. Them. That's a good candy to buy because I won't eat it. Because it is zombie flavored. Yeah, I'm or... not eating it. No. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right what we got going on in chat oh let's see here we have uh like i said people who do not want to uh eat the uh zombie flavored fleshed skittles so i'm sorry skittles if you're watching i'm sorry <sighs> uh but we also seem to be having a dizombified raid we're getting a dizombified raid yeah, so thank you very much. So we have creepy clown girls here. Uh, right. We have Nikita Okami, uh, SCP-1731. Uh, they have joined us from uh, Dezombified. So, and, of course, Dezombified came as well. So well, thank, thank you guys you. for coming You know what? Over. I wasn't going to do this. Oh, and but Jose got, Kitty's here, too. We got a bunch of new people here, so I guess I'm going to have to do it, unless you want to tell them who we are. No, go right ahead. Why do I ask? I ask every I week, know. and I'm going to continue to ask, and someday you're going to, oh, yeah, I can do it. All right. Sean and Marianne Donnelly, owners of PanicD.com and DarkShadowGhostTours.com. PanicD.com is a database of over 700 or 907. 900 now, yeah. Actually, it's going to be more. Uh, locations across the United States that have paranormal claims. In the database, we document the history, any ghost stories and folklore that we find, paranormal claims, and resource links about the location. In November of 2017... Good job. <laughs> November 2017, we started working on our YouTube channel again, even though it's been around since 2010, but we started a series called Our Haunted Travels. And on those videos that we put out each week, we feature one of those locations out of the database that we've been to, and we're well over 300 of those locations right now. So I got to change all of our banner artwork and all that other garbage, but I'm on vacation right now, so I ain't worried about it. <sighs> Anyways, that's who we are. So if it, who we are. So if you're into the paranormal history and forensic type videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. All right, sounds good. I want to redo our intro, too. I know you do. I know you do. Think we'll get that done this week? I don't no. Know. 
Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about Panic D just real quick. And then we're almost to the point where we're going to get into our topic. Happy Trails Hiking. Thank you very much. We got another super Aww, chat from Happy Oh, thank you. Trails Happy hiking. Trails Hiking. Thank I was you, busy you, typing and I almost, almost missed it. Thank you very All much. All right. Well, you know what? We got 17 here. We got the zombified here. Should we get Boris? We didn't do Boris. I don't know. Do we really need to do we wake need Boris? him up today? Do you guys want us to wake Boris, wake Boris up? up Let's ask in chat. What do you think? Do you guys want to see Boris? Yes or no? <clears throat> While you're answering, I'm going to give you a Panic D update because I've made some significant changes to the actual database. Beginning of the week, actually. I now can easily add other people's videos to the locations. So I'm going to start doing that. You might get a message from me on your videos or through email or something saying, thank you. We've linked to your videos from the locations. Um, and I've updated that when you bring up a location, if we have been there, there's a little graphic and it says visited by Panic D. Nice. And... The locations are going to start coming out on our Facebook page, not the group, but the Facebook page and the Twitter page. They come out every day, like randomly. It'll say on those messages whether we visited that location or not as well. All right. That was some significant changes, um, but and I got them done. And more changes than you've made to the site in a while. So. Yeah, yeah. So really? I started working on locations again. I know. How many did I tell you I got You done? said you did five last night. Yeah. That's what I plan on working on. Uh, getting some more of them done so all right what they say about boris uh i i think that they want to see boris boris boris, boris. Yes. all right let's but get boris. before we do that sure. uh we have um josie kitty who joined us and also country girl haunts hunts spirits rock fam as well yeah but she said she was country girl paranormal changed her name another mailing that we owe it's in our email i don't pay attention boris could you help us out please job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Boris. And thank you, everybody who shared the stream out. Appreciate it very much. That helps tell people that we are live. And I saw a message on there while that was playing from Nikita. It says, thank you all for letting me be here. You know what? You are very, we want to thank you for being here. That's right. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time out of your day and coming and watching a couple idiots over it. Well, I'm the idiot. She's a clickbait and talent. Um, just making fools of ourselves. Uh, so we appreciate it very much. All right. All right, we and are done with housekeeping, I think. Oh, um, pretty close. We also have Sword of Recon Showcasting is here, and Mystery Slots has joined us, as well as Space Oddity Kayla. All right. Are you ready to do your eBay update? Sure. Okay. It's time for... Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to corral your children in pits because it is time for Madigan's eBay Update. All right, what do you got for us today? I have a very tiny item for us today. Um, this is actually... Well, tiny's bad because normally the smaller it is, the more expensive it is. <laughs> uh, this this one... going to give me a stroke. No, you knew about this one. Okay. I bought this one actually not on eBay, but in Gettysburg itself last year when we were there. Um, this here was a button. Uh, it's a flower cuff button. Uh, it was found on Devil at Devil's Den. And they say that this one here is a civilian button. However, it was most often associated with Confederate individuals. So that makes this piece very exciting for me because not only was it found at Devil's Den, but why well, that's where the Confederates were at. Why is it a 
uh, <clears throat> civilian button, though, and not anything else. Um, but at the same time, it could be something from one of the people who fought there, but yeah. it also could be from some of the family members who well, came okay. back to collect and look for bodies. Yeah. So this one makes me very exciting because you just don't know because this yeah. was a civilian button. That's interesting. Yeah. So I was excited about this one. So that's my little treasure for today. Uh, and so I did get this, as I said, in Gettysburg last year, and I got it from uh, an artifact store there. Uh, where I spent a lot of time. Is it money. the one that I hate? No, it's a different one that oh, you Oh, a different hate. one that I hate. <laughs> it's uh, a different one. Uh, this one here uh, was actually uh, one that I hadn't been to before, and they were very excited to have me come visit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, check chat. Did we get new people? Oh, uh, let's see. Only Claire Jones has joined us. Hello to you. Nice to see you again. All right. Okay. What else you got? Uh, update on our channel. Okay. Not much. Thursday we put out a video <laughs> uh, for Throwback Thursday, which I want to talk about that for a second. Throwback Thursday is a collaboration that takes place the last Thursday of the month. And if you're a creator and you want to get in on this, um, probably just, just let us know. We'll get you in touch with the gentleman who's in, in charge of that and get you in the chat room and all that other stuff. But it's actually pretty cool because it gives you a chance to go back to older footage or look back in the past and that kind of stuff and make a video about it and talk about it. Well, this is the third time we've done it. The other two times we did it, I did it on our vlogging channel uh, because I had this in my head that we got to keep this channel completely paranormal and all that. And you know what? I, it, it's That's not working, so I, I don't care anymore. Um, but I will still be doing vlogs on the vlogging channel. But um, So I did it on our main channel, and <laughs> it was... A throwback to 2005 when we went to um, Roscoe Village mm -hmm. and rode the canal boat. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it was before we got married and everything. Yeah, it's just pictures. That's all we have from back then. We didn't do video back then. But some of the comments we got on is actually kind of cool. You know, Lori and and uh, Kay from Happy Trail said, "Oh, we rode one of those in Canal Fulton and." Uh, you know, uh, what did your mom say? She said it was refreshing because there were no cemeteries or prisons or, <laughs> or yeah, or death or dismemberment or something. It was it was a breath of fresh yeah. air to have something different. So, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll do that every once in a while. But if you guys want to get involved with that, it it's it's fun. I think it is. It's yeah. a little change from you know what we do, but it it was kind of cool and it. And it's a good chance to document. And actually, I was thinking about it. You know what? That's part of our travels. That's what our channel is about, is our travels. Was right. it haunted? At the time, I thought, oh, okay, Roscoe Village. It's not really haunted. And then I go and look, and there's paranormal claims at Roscoe Village. So it is part of our haunted travels. So when we go back and do Roscoe Village and cover all of that, I get a link to that video and there say, you there you go. Look so. at you. All right, and mm. while you've been talking about that, we have inspired John. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much for, for Work your the donation. Numbers. Uh, and uh, View This has joined us as well. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, right. Mystery Slots says, who's Annette? That's my name. Uh, Annette is my mom. Yeah, Annette Reagan. Yeah. She is a lurker as well, just like Ghost Mafia. Yes, and Happy Trails Hiking says, LOL, Annette. <laughs> Oh, what did I do? Oh, okay, it's not know. on there anymore. It's What's on not on here. There? Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So, is that done with all of your special to-do list? Uh, I believe so. Go through chat. Let's see what we got going on in chat while I check it over. All right. Uh, so, Mystery Slot says, see, that's a beautiful name. And uh, let's see. There was somebody who said hi to Mike Millen. I did not see him in the chat, but if you are here, please. Mike hello. Millen actually is the gentleman who's in charge of. Uh, oh, so maybe the that thing. was. Yeah, uh, chilling with Millen, gotcha. I think, is. is okay, so maybe they're not here. Maybe they were saying. Yeah. That's. Okay, gotcha. All right. Who said that? Uh, was it. 
Happy, Happy Trails, Trails or Inspired. Yeah. yeah. See, and, my, uh, it slipped my mind. I'm, and I need to apologize to you guys. I see all these names and everybody and only Claire Jones. He's and terrible Happy at Trails. it. I'm horrible with names. I am really, really horrible with names. I'm good and with I remember seeing. And that's one of the probably the drawbacks of our channel. <laughs> <laughs> is see Mary Ann's like, oh yeah, they were they were in our chat. They were in our chat. They were in our chat. And um I'm bad I'm really bad with names. I don't even know my home phone number to be honest with you. I know he asks really me don't. all the time. But see, I as a school teacher, I'm terrible at names as well. But yeah, that's mine, pretty bad as a school teacher. <laughs> mine mine is like matching names to faces. It takes me like at least a good solid two, two and a half weeks at the beginning of the year to find out who my kids are. Like, I'll see them. And I'm like, yes, I know you're one of mine, you know, but I couldn't tell you what their name is. I'm terrible at it. All right. We're going to take just a one and a half minute break, maybe two minutes. What? Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to play this thing oh. while I switch stuff around here. Well, it's a little... Okay, I play this because I got to get screen switched around. Okay. <sighs> yeah, Happy Trails Hiking says seating charts are great. Yes, they are. I even have the kids, they have little tags on the desk that say what their names are for every period of the day. So, like, even on the first day, I don't like find out who they are. Like, they go sit down in their seats, you know, on their own. And then I pull up the thing and say, okay, let's see if you find the right seat, you know. And I use those little tags on the desk for like the first two, three weeks of school to help me because I'll go stand by the desk and I know what see, period it is. And I'm, I'm like, not a teacher. I would just so walk around Joey, with how are you thinking about this? Or <laughs> I just write their name on their forehead with the sharpie. See, I use those as my little cheat sheets and the kids think I know who they are <laughs> so much sooner <laughs> than I actually do. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back and we'll get started on our topic. We are back and ready to get started with intro to numerology. And I'm emphasizing the word intro <laughs> because, wow. You mean it's not all inclusive? No, no. Okay, so I think I said a little bit ago, I, I wanted to do a topic that we could kind of learn about. We know we knew nothing about numerology. I knew it existed. I didn't know what it meant or, you know. Oh, well, you knew it had something yeah. to do with numbers. We do psychic fairs and we go to those places and we have booths and I mean, there's people that do numerology readings and things like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't, really knew nothing about that. That's not really what we do, okay? But we're, we're, we're expanding our knowledge. Expanding our horizons. Yeah, I want to learn about tarot cards and, and other things like that too. And as we learn things, we're going to do a show about them and we're going to do intros to you guys and kind of like expose you to it too as we learn <sighs> so numerology i said marianne hey let's do numerology next next show she okay so i sent her a couple links and then marianne and her great researching wisdom dives into this and I found, found stuff that was completely different from what i read and i'm like whoa wait a minute this doesn't make sense and then we started looking again and found even more and found even more and more and more and more and more and wow numerology there is a whole religion based on that mm -hmm. there's there's it's it's just amazing happy trail says numbers equal yuckiness numbers equal yuckiness <laughs> I okay. take it she was not a big math person in school. So, 
she okay. got it. She has to understand like four, four time and stuff like that, though. So you know. All right. <laughs> so we're going to start off small with the introduction to it, and and over time we'll do additional shows and keep adding to it and adding to it because there's different ways to approach numerology. What we're starting out with, and I'm probably going to butcher his name, Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Did I say it right? Pythagoras. You yeah. said Rhys. Rhys, but Pythagoras. Pyth okay. So tell, can, can you explain to Pythagoras and his approach to numerology? He's actually the father of numerology. This goes way back, um, but this is how it got started. Well, can you talk about that a little bit? Basically, he just liked numbers. You guys all learned the Pythagorean theorem in school at some point in your life. Uh, and if you're too young for that, what are you doing here? No. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Pythagoras really liked numbers, and he thought that the, the universe and everything could be was really controlled by numbers and so he tried to figure everything out using numbers and uh, he thought that numbers and colors and uh, pretty much everything they all just melded together and they all just, music everything yeah everything you know, went together based, based on, on numbers. numbers okay so the western belief or approach to numerology is based on pythagoras beliefs okay and there's different ways there's western there's eastern there's islamic there's uh, arabic okay she looks away as i'm looking to her for help here oh i'm sorry i'm adding <laughs> to the chat okay I'm sorry. Go ahead, my darling. What, what were you saying? All right, so saying? there's different approaches. So the intro, what we're talking about today is the Pythagorean based. All right, so as we were going through this and we're you know, learning, it's, it's actually based, those of you who have problems, I know a lot of people, I know a girl who gets hives when you start talking about I, math. I know the same person. <laughs> okay, we won't mention any names, but I've seen it happen. <laughs> literally hives and you start talking about math calculation <laughs> it's funny <laughs> but it's only based on nine numbers right okay easy numbers right nine easy numbers one through nine okay nine numbers okay that clicks in i get that nine numbers but then there's different types of numbers mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so we're going to talk about four today Right? We are? Okay. For, for those numbers. Okay. But there are so many different ways to come up with these numbers for, uh, what was the one we were talking about right before we went live? Uh, we were talking about life path number. No, there was another one. So there's expression number, life path number. Power number. Power number. And the color um, vibration color number. number. Right. There's one we were, were talking do. about. Destiny number. Destiny. Uh, there's all kinds of yeah them. there's all kinds of different ways so we're only going to talk about soul four number today. So, yeah there's numbers that you can calculate to help you with your you know guide you with marriage and gambling and uh, it just goes on and on and on and actually those who sit down and do numerological readings will create a complete chart you mm -hmm. know and and we're not we don't want to step on anyone's toes because we have friends who actually do this for a living, I guess. Yeah, for a living <laughs> or for supplemental income. And I get it. I really get it because there's a lot to this. So we're just going to start with intro and, and add to it over time. Are you guys okay with that? The title of this was Intro to Numerology. Yeah. All right. So you have 22 minutes left to do your whole topic. So no time we're to wait. We're fine. We're good. Okay. Happy Trails Hiking says, I like charts. And Star Glover has joined us and says, hello. Nice to meet you. And Mystery Slots. Uh, if you guys hang around with us, we have a little gift for everybody, basically, do? that you can go online and do a chart for yourself. Well, not a full chart. Not a full chart. An or intro, a, a basic chart. A start. A start chart. <sighs> I'll continue with the story. Right, Marianne, let's do numerology. She starts researching and researching. She, that was like day one. Marianne, how we come with that numerology stuff? Oh, I found this. I found this. I found this. So let's go on Netflix. Look up numerology. Oh my God. Let's look at another one. Oh, that's completely different. Oh my. 
one thing came to another and yesterday at what time did i start working on that about four o'clock four o'clock yesterday i started writing a program that'll help you in calculating your numbers your basic numbers basic numbers okay mm -hmm. all right we good everyone say we're good only killer jones wants to know if the gift is chocolate because she likes chocolate but no, no. It's a start chart. <laughs> it's a start chart. It's an online uh, virtual gift. Okay? All right. So, you ready? You want to get started with this? Go for you it. want to explain the four different numbers? No. <laughs> that, that really wasn't a question. That was a command to explain the four different numbers. Okay. Well, life path is supposed to be, like, the most important number because it pretty much guides or lays out your life plan basically it ta talks about how you deal with others jobs you should have things you should watch out for stuff like that you get that from your birthday date okay then you have your expression number it's kind of like your personality basically um, you get that from your birth name so for those of you who got married or if you went down and you legally changed your name because you didn't like what your parents gave you, you know. Or your channel name. Or it, where you could use your channel name, Business that kind name. of stuff too. Yeah, so if you're a YouTuber, you can check out your YouTube name and maybe that'll be, you know, mm -hmm. helpful too. Uh, but anyhow, so this, this basically uh, gives you a little bit about your personality and things like that. Uh, then there's your color, uh, and the color number is going to be helping with your vibrations of color in your life and some of your traits and characteristics. Uh, that's also found from your name. And then uh, the last one that we're going to do now is your power number, and that is when you take your uh, life path number and your uh, expression number and you add those together you get a different number and that number is your power number that's right okay that's the very 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 basic tip of the iceberg because there's other numbers you could come up with too like your your desire number where you just take the consonants of your name and you, you know, all that okay well either way i said there's only nine numbers that's wrong there's actually uh, 1 through 9. Then there's 11, 22, and 33, which are... Master numbers. Master numbers. This system, we didn't get... I actually, believe it or not, was working on this really up to like the hour before we went live. It's not finished. Yeah, but you slept for a add, bunch of hours. So, yeah, you know, can you really I count those? Hour. Yeah. But I have to add the master numbers to this because that kind of lays over top. If during the calculation... 11 22 or 33 comes up then a master number goes on top of the reading and it's actually pretty interesting so that's going to come later later probably within the next couple of days we're going to add that to this and and you could see what's going on now <clears throat> at some point i, I want to do just a regular video and talk about the calculator and have something else and then down the road we'll have other live streams that will add to this uh numerology and it won't be intro it'll be something else maybe it will be a 201 yeah maybe we'll see what happens okay all right so how do you calculate to get the numbers okay because i said there's only one number so basically you keep condensing them down until you get a single number yeah okay? and then those numbers that you get they have meanings yeah they have meanings so let me bring this up. And Marianne did an example with Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, everybody knows that Abraham Lincoln is like one of our guys. Yeah. We like Abraham yeah. Lincoln. We talk here. about Abraham we Lincoln do. a lot. We do. We talk about him a lot on this channel. But uh, so I decided that I would just use his, his name and birthday because I have access to both of those. And it wasn't anybody who was living and I didn't have to worry about anybody not liking the results. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, I digress. So Abraham Lincoln, by the way, does not have a middle name at all. All right. So Abraham Lincoln is one that doesn't have a middle name. But if you had a middle name, you would include your middle name in this calculation. Um, your 
they suggest your full name. Abraham Lincoln didn't have one just simply because he was named after his paternal grandfather, uh, and he just simply didn't have one. Uh, so Abraham Lincoln, we're going to add up all his little letters of his name. There is a chart that they use in numerology. Now this is based off of Western Pythagorean. Correct. Correct, because you could use the Arabic al alphabet and yes, yes. So, so many different ways of looking. There's at it. a so we just version. picked one, yeah. and we're going to adopt this as the Panic D method. <laughs> yeah. And actually, we've even talked about this since about three times a year, we do get booths at paranormal conferences. This might be something we'll do at our booth along with e ESP testing and stuff like that. Yes. So, you know, just anyways. And, okay, and, we're gonna, and with that, we're going to be researching to see how close this kind of stuff comes to what people say that's in their real life. Yeah. So we're going to be doing private, a little science experiment on everybody. research study just to see how close it comes and, yeah. and that kind of thing. All right. So anyways, um, the there are numbers that are associated with every letter of the uh, alphabet. And so we just basically take the name and we split it apart. And so uh, we take the A, for example, is a one, the B is a two, the R is a nine. And we go ahead and we get all of the numbers for Abraham Lincoln's entire name. We take that and we add all of those little letters up and we get 60. Well, 60 is not a number between one and nine, and so you have to reduce that back again. So it would be six plus zero. Uh, that just gives us six. Now, so that this is going the... to be his expression number. It's also gonna be his color number. So he's gonna be color indigo. If you look at the list there, you see the letters and the colors on the same chart. Um, so he'll be a, a color indigo, and he's going to have a number six as his expression number. We'll find out what that means here in a little bit. Yes? Yes. Keep okay. going. All right. So then uh, we'll get his life path number. Uh, we do that again by doing his name. I'm sorry, not his name, his, his birthday. So his birthday is February 12th of 1809. So we take February and we turn that into numbers, which we know is two. Uh, it's the second month of the year. So it would be zero, two, uh, and then the 12th, and then the year 1809. We're going to take and add all of those pieces of the puzzle up. Zero plus two plus one plus two plus one plus eight plus zero plus nine. We add all of that up and we get 23. Reduce that down. Two plus three is five. And so his life path number then would be five. So for those of you who are freaked out about numbers so far, I gave you a whole lot of numbers, but it was basic math. We were just adding. And keep reducing till you and get a single And keep reducing till we get that single number. Now, again, remember, we don't have this right now on the system. The um, There are other ways to calculate what's, no, this. No, the 11, 22, and 33. Oh, yes, the um, 11, 22, and 33 are the master numbers. Yeah. If you add together his uh, two to get his power number, you would get six plus five, and that's 11, and that is one of those power numbers. But there are also individuals who say um, that the power number just works over your regular number, so one plus one equals two, and so his power number could be two with an overriding 11. So this question didn't come up in the chat yet, but I had this <laughs> question with Mary Ann when we were talking about this. Okay, you're supposed to be using your given name, but what if you're married? Mm -hmm. um, they suggest yeah what if you using, don't have a middle name you know that yeah. kind of thing so yeah. what, what do they say about your they suggest that you name? should use your your given birth name whatever's on your birth certificate however they do say hey go ahead do it with your married name too. See how I see if that's like something that happened earlier in your life and now this is more related to your current life. See how much they're related, that kind of stuff, because they also say, hey, how do you introduce yourself? That's really, that's right. again, um, your name. So that could go with your channel name, like we your were talking about name. before, your business yeah, name. You can use yeah. it for a business name. You can use it for your channel name. The name that you're associating with is the name that you could use, okay? My full name is Sean Allen Donnelly. I don't use my middle name very much because my initials spell sad. sad. <laughs> okay, so I u always use Sean Donnelly. So that is the name I'm associated with, you know, that kind of thing. So do I do it 
by Sean Donnelly or Sean Allen Donnelly. See, I would assume that to me personally, and then this is where the spiritual, for lack of a better word, side of it comes into it is um, you're supposed to use the word that you, or the name that you associate with. So I would use Sean Donnelly, not Sean Allen Donnelly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a question in the chat that says, do you hyphenate then? Uh, if you want to hyphenate, you can, so but the it hyphen matter. itself is tossed away. There's no calculation for a hyphen. But if you are a Reagan Donnelly, uh, Reagan hyphen Donnelly, uh, then you would use, you would say that whole name if that's what you wanted to yeah. put in there. But so I have a question have a for Jamie, Jamie for Ray's hyphen. Paranormal Wonders, who has studied this pretty heavy from reading the chat here. Um, when they, the, now there's so many different ways. I, I'm going to mm -hmm. say this again. There's so many different ways to get these numbers and calculate these numbers and stuff. But she said something right here. The numerology chart uses the Pythagorean alphanumeric. We didn't find anything that used the numeric numbers as part of the name. It, they right. were actually throwing those out. So I'm interested, and I'm sure it's out there, yeah. and I'm sure other people have used that too. But um, that's interesting. So, because I had a question too, I've seen a lot of channels that you know, like, you know, Bob's Pickles twenty three. Do we use two three in that calculation? I went back and I checked that from the the process that we're using. Okay, and they throw those numbers out of that name. I'm just saying that, but there are ways where you can actually use those numbers in there in that calculation too. Just want to say that. Disclaimers all over this because there's so <laughs> many different ways that you could do it. There really is. So we just had to pick one for now to get started. Yes, because there's even it. there's even three ways that people add these numbers up. Like we just added straight across. Yeah, you that could is just one do of just the three the ways. First name, this name, and this name, and then add those numbers. Or like I said, there's another way where you just use the consonants or just use the vowels or. This is very basic right now. <laughs> it was written in three hours. <laughs> but we're going to keep adding to it. The yeah, for more the different learn, types. So. For the different types. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's see now, here. The, the power number. What about it? I already, you, I already said the two six together. and five is 11. That's where I, we talked about okay. the master number already. And then one and one is two, which gives the power number. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay, so I have been wanting to do this on my boyfriend for Ron, but he doesn't believe in this stuff. He's such a punk. Okay, so now let's So all talk you need to know, Jamie, quick. is his name and birthday. Yeah, you can just do it without <laughs> you him. You can do it without him. Um, okay, so this kind of crosses the line now a little bit. Now, okay, I, I just want to say this. this is my personal belief. I don't want to take anybody off at all. I really don't want to do that, but I have a tendency to do that quite a bit. So I apologize ahead of time. So this wax this this crosses the line a little bit with with religion, okay? This this could be considered necro What are you doing? I'm, I'm not right, paying I'm attention. Answering. You know, this is we're looking at it from the approach that this is kind of interesting to compare is is your life path following this? If you go to use it as a way to guide your life okay in some religions that could be like whoa wait a minute you know that's not what we're saying <laughs> we're just saying yes this is introduction to numerology am i going to use it to guide my life no no i <laughs> follow the guy upstairs okay but there's different religions that do use this that's to guide correct. their life and whatever we welcome everybody that's just my personal belief okay so now i said that please if i have offended you i'm sorry <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just disclaimers. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Are we going to try this? Uh, yes. Uh, Jamie just wanted to say that she's always interested in new ideas and things, and uh, you're so kind and gracious and have even stood up for her on another channel. Um, so that she was kind of thanking you for that kind of stuff too, I think. Oh, I stand up for everybody. I'm... Here's my belief. Open-mindedness and my beliefs are, are me. I don't believe in pushing my stuff on other people and say, here's how it's got to be. I don't like that. I don't like when people do it to me. That's my beliefs. Yeah. And I don't like when people get picked on. I was picked. 
don't get me on another rant. <laughs> yes, please. He's already ranted once today. Kids at school get picked on. I pull them in my office. I put my arm around them, and I stick up for them. You know, I hate when yeah. people bully, you know. Yeah. Everybody has a right to their own beliefs. So uh, just real quickly, also, um, there was someone in chat who had said that their their name is so long and they got 36, 37, 54. And so if, just remember, you're going to you're going to reduce those down till you get to those single digit numbers between one and nine. So like you're 36, it would be three plus six is nine. So your number would be nine. OK, so she just said what we have displayed is the Pythagorean alphanumeric. OK, see, alphanumeric to me in a programming standpoint means numbers and letters together. That's the, well, this the is, term for programming. Yes. Yeah, this is showing this the alphabet with the, yes. the OK, it's just crossing terminology. <laughs> All right, so All right. are you ready to move yeah. on? All right, so we're going to do this for Abraham Lincoln, yes? Yes. All right, now, Marianne's going to drop a link. Ready? I am. Here's the gift, folks. And this, I'm going to come back. If you're watching this on the replay, I'm going to drop this down into the description, and you guys can use this utility to do your own readings. Now, it says on that utility, and this is 100% true, your names and dates, whatever you want to use. If you want to use your channel name, your, your date you started your channel, you could do that. If you want to use your personal name and your birthday, whatever, that's great. None of that is being stored. Yeah, we don't really care <laughs> what right. your name and it's, date are. It's just using the calculate. And if you make a mistake, like put a letter in for a number in the date thing or forget a space or whatever, it's going to give you an error and reset the form. It's not storing it or caching it. So you don't have yeah. to worry about any type of identity theft yeah we really don't no, want I, to know and it anything. says that on the screen <laughs> we so. don't want to know anything let me switch back to this and i'm going to bring up the calculator wow it's been used a bunch already well, i used it testing. i used it twice all right uh let's see where can i put us Jamie says, yes, uh, it, this reminds me of playing MASH as a young girl and crushing on guys. Yes, I remember that kind of stuff, too, with those little uh, paper things, right? <laughs> All right, so Marianne dropped the link. Oh, it. No, I didn't. <laughs> this does work Happy on the Trails cell phone, Hiking too. has linked it as well. This does work on a phone too, so it will collapse down and work good on the phone. I hope you guys can read that okay, because on our screen it's like. Rrr. All right, so we're going to do. Um... Go ahead, let me flip back. Abraham Lincoln, what was the date? February 12th, 1809. 2 12. 1809. 1809. Okay. So we're going to do Abraham Lincoln. And here we go. So his expression number was six. So it did that calculation, converted the letter letters to numbers, added them together until it reduced down to a single digit. And like I said, that power numbers are not power. What's the... the 11, 22, and 33. I keep that calling That is a power. life path number. No, the 11, 22, and 33 means... Oh, the master numbers. Yeah, I'm the sorry. master numbers are not going to come out yet. I'm going to add them to this so they, they pop up and say, hey, you got a master number during the calculation. But, um, so you want to go ahead and read some of this? We'll see, we'll see if this uh, depicts Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. Uh, let's see you have here. it on your screen, I too, so you can read it. Somewhere. Yes. Uh, let's see here. So... He uh, says that he should uh, has service or teacher involved, responsibilities, protection, nurturing, community, balance, and sympathy. I think that he was a pretty sympathetic guy with a lot of responsibility. Uh, his life path number uh, was five, and uh, he was uh, thinking freedom, love of travel, adventure, meeting new people. He liked change, new new horizons, makes friends easily. Personality is inspiring to people of all walks of life. I think these kind of things kind of sound a little bit like Abe. 
Uh, color vibration, indigo, represents someone who is a brilliant old soul who's intuitive, sensitive, nurturing, and takes great responsibility, yet is impulsive, curious, ambitious, and has a great zest for life. Uh, approachable, friendly, sociable. Oh, hey, you walk up on that that step and walk in his house any day and he will talk right. to you, you know? Right. You show up at the White House, you are going to have a meeting That's with right. Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Yep. Uh, and his power number was two, uh, tended to express talent for building and sustaining relationships and bringing people together to bring success. Teamwork and diplomacy are strong points. Life achievement is to be that of a peacemaker. So what do you think? think what do you think, guys? I think it kind of sounds a little do like Do you think a. it described Abraham Lincoln? I don't know, but Happy Trails Hiking says, love it. Mine makes me smile. So go ahead and drop that link again to the calculator. And I'm going to link when we're done um, in the description to it, which we can since it's on our web page. <clears throat> so, um, Jamie, I don't know if you did yours to see how close it, it came. So... Lori says it does sound like Lincoln. It's interesting because, you know, these somebody somebody came up with this kind of information and said, hey, I'm going to yeah. have this for these numbers. And and it's weird how it kind of does seem to fit him quite well. And during his calculation, since those that 11 came out, that slaps another thing on top of it, which, you know, right. really brings it to fruition which is really kind of cool so come yeah. back one being a leader and come back in a couple of days or if you see us put out a, a a video about this i'll have those other numbers added to this and you could you could do it again and and see how you know what it was now okay this is very basic. Numerologists are people who do numerology readings. They make these huge They make charts these charts with... out from all these number calculations. And, and then they, they can sit there and just tell you the number whole thing, this how one it relates. And... <laughs> and if you have Amazon Prime, you could go on there and watch the, uh, there's a documentary on numerology and stuff, and it'll there's explain all many. that. Yeah. But yeah, very many. And these big charts that they come up, because there's a way, like, the day of the month that you were born means a certain number, and... You know, it's 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 kind of like freaky. <laughs> That's why I don't like sitting down with mediums and they tell me stuff and I'm like haven't told them anything and they're like really close and I'm like, okay, nice meeting you, bye. You know. So, <clears throat> Happy Trail said hers made her smile. Lori Bryant says it sounds like her. Uh, Happy or Mystery Slot says that's dead on for me. Uh, Happy Trail says, my color is yellow, but not a favorite. Uh, but that doesn't have to be your favorite color. Uh, that's just what your color vibration of your life is. Uh, <laughs> Lori says, I have a power number for my name. Uh, so a master number, probably. Uh, and my color is orange. I like orange. Let's see what else we have. Uh, oh, yep, she corrected herself later and said master number, not power number. Yep. Uh, Jamie says, my life path number is five. Heart's desire is eight. Expression is nine. High intuition, sensitive. I'm a medium and hear and see and feel spirits. So, yeah. It's, it is quite interesting. Now, in, in chat, in, in Twitter chats, um, there's another thing with numbers, like meanings of numbers. But that's not what this is about. I want to do yes. meanings of numbers, not Another numerology, time. but what numbers, like if numbers come up in your life, what that kind of means, that's like different. That's different than what we're talking about. What we're talking about is this, numerology, how different things of you personally, it's kind of like a horoscope type thing. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. And this does, Pythagorean did tie this into ast or astrology. Yes. And, you know, that kind of thing. So, um yeah, it is quite interesting. All right. Happy Trail says it posted it to Facebook. It'll be fun to see what her friends think, too. So did you post the, the link or did you post your results? <laughs> Are you going to try to see if your friends think that's really what you're like? <laughs> so on this, uh, the link that we 
It didn't show up on here. Of course. What? For some reason. The Twitter. Oh. I don't know. On the utility, there should be, you should see a tweet or share. Actually, if you click on those, you could share these out. You could share out the, the calculator. Hey, Abraham Lincoln got it on my computer. Yeah, it's showing up on you, but not on this screen for not. some reason. Yeah. So if you want, if you want to share it with your friends, see what they think, you know what theirs come up with it's that's why i said it's a it's a free little utility does it have ads in here for panic d videos of course it does <laughs> but it's something that we come up with because i'm like okay so we're, let's do it no you did abraham lincoln today yeah. we were going to do george washington or somebody like that and then look up through the pages what this means and i'm like that's crazy so it's all sure in the database he, and i wasn't all... sure if george had a middle name though i had a, so, yeah. but i knew abraham didn't so that's why I just So are we going to add this when we start doing like behind the hauntings and stuff like that? Like Ooh, we could do numerology for the person? Reading if we on know. the person? I guess we could if we knew it, I guess. So we did a numerology reading for this person. And here's what we came up with. Blah 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 blah. That's that's kind of interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do your little buttons do? The what? Facebook and Twitter ones, do okay, they I'm take, sure. but do they take you to the, your results? Do they put no, your no, results no. out? It just or shares, shares out the, the utility. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just, the I results just doesn't actually print out. I mean, you guys want to be able to share your results? Because I could write that to it. Again, I wrote this in what, three hours? Yeah, it needs a little bit of cleanup. Like it needs the, a little tweaking. Yeah. You know, if you're like playing with it and you say, hey, <laughs> yeah. hey, Sean, it'd be cool if it did this or it looked like this or you got this typo or whatever. It's just you know how to get a hold of us just yeah. let me know you know hey it'd be kind of cool if i could share out the, my results with people and yeah let me know we could do that yeah definitely could do that yeah. i think yeah sure you can do anything you're a wizard yeah just that's what they call him at takes. school at school they call him a wizard they're like sean can do anything he's a wizard <laughs> oh dear uh, Mystery Slot said she would like to share hers. So, yes, okay. that's something they're interested in. All right, so well, I'll go in and I'll, I'll tweak. I don't know when I'll get to it, but, you know. Yeah, Happy Trails Hiking says, I don't like sharing my results, but I'm weird. I'm totally with you. I've never shared my results from anything with anyone. And Lori says, you just need a pointy hat. Yeah, I need <laughs> time. If anybody wants to get me anything for my birthday or, or Christmas or anything like that as a gift, time or administrator time would day be. like the the digital administrator's day which is what tomorrow by the way ha happy that day lori because you're one of those peeps too right time would be good if you could give me time <laughs> we'll have to work on that time machine again uh, just like dumbledore you know what you know that little thing hermione had where she could flip it and then she could do all those different classes at the same time be in different place you know she changed time i i would i would love to have one of those see if you what can find show one is on that on? harry potter harry potter she had a little necklace that she spun and it she can change time and go back that's how she was taking multiple classes at the same time really interesting i would love one of those see if you can find one on ebay okay you? Time oh. Turner. That's what it was called. Is that what called. it yeah. was called? Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's what Happy Trails Hikings come up with. Time Turner. So did you guys learn something today? Is this stuff you already knew? Did you know what, did did you you know what numerology was? Did you learn something about yourself? <laughs> Do you like the utility? I'm throwing out all kinds of questions in chat because I'm curious. This is what we've been doing for the past 24 hours besides taking a nap. What time was it last night where you were going, I can't do this anymore? It was, like a, it was like a quarter to 12, and I'm like, I can't condense this stuff anymore. I, I can't <laughs> focus at this time of night. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, I need to sleep. <laughs> I am a morning person. He is a night person, and uh, I can't work and focus that late at night yeah kate did you get my message on twitter when i told you good morning that's when i woke up for the day i went to bed at 7 30 8 30 this morning something like yeah that. i could not sleep 
And he was he he wasn't working on this either. He was no. he was putting stuff in the pantry. I have a problem that when I'm programming, my mind gets into this whatever, and it just does not shut off. I've watched I don't know how many mind numbing movies. I tried everything, and I could not fall asleep. I just couldn't. I'm like, okay, I'm up. Went out and worked on the database. So yeah. uh, Jamie Ray. Yeah, happy says, trails. Uh, Two p.m. her time. That's your time. Yeah. So that's three p.m. So that's three p.m. our time. We go live at five. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't done. Com- you know, combining and putting together the stuff for in the database results, and he's like, "Do you have those?" I'm like, "I'm not done yet." Uh, but. Uh, Anyways, as I was saying, Jamie Ray says people need to know the difference between numerology and angel numbers. I would like to know about who said that. Jamie. So she's going to be an angel number person. Maybe. Jamie, I'd like to talk to you about angel numbers because that I've heard about that before, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we haven't what done that anything is. with them. Again, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. We do do a psychic fair, and we are going to do one in November again. At uh, we've already. We've already confirmed to that, and I was asked, I forgot, we're going to reply back, or we're going to do Toledo again. We want to oh. do that next year. Um, just say it depends on who's coming. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if no. Jeff comes, yes. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. Mudge it. That's right. Yeah. All right. Hey, we are oh, right. His an hour and 15 minutes. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We're an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, okay. That went quick. It did. But it was quick and concise, and we didn't freak everybody out with we all the numbers. Another, let's do another one, right? and then we'll wrap it up. Who we didn't we freak out everything with Who numbers. We, let's do Charlie Manson. Oh, gosh. I don't know what his middle name is. Does he have a middle name? And it's probably Charles on his birth certificate. Yeah, he went let's by Charlie. See. Charles Miles Manson. Okay, so go ahead. C H A R L E S. Charles. M I. See, this is this is going to be fun for us, especially when we do these behind the hauntings and stuff. Charles, what is it? M I L L E S Manson. Wait a minute, Charles. M I L L E S. M A N S O N. Yes. Birthday. Born November, so that's eleven twelve of uh, thirty four nineteen thirty four. Visionary, adventurer, constructive use of freedom, loves travel. Uh, let's see here. Life path four. Let's see. Born planner, orderly, organized, practical, controlled, decisive, methodical. Justice and honesty are sacred to you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let's, uh, color. let's see. Blue. Color blue represents empathetic, adaptable, like tolerant, tranquil, patient, devoted. Uh, fun-loving, optimistic, communicator, movement, freedom, flexibility. Mm. Power number know. nine. Power number nine. Awareness, wholeness as a human, broad-minded, tolerant, compassionate, <laughs> support humanitarian-focused charities. I guess he did sort of uh, have that utopia place that he built, I guess, oh, right? Yeah, right I see there. that. Number four, write that down. Number four, life path. Well, we're going to have to look at all those. Yeah. All right. But see that whole pair, that's that's one giant paragraph. Yeah, it was a whole go bunch. We've got to go back yeah. and fix it. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. At least. Let's see here. What's we got going on? Let's see here. Not even close for Manson, says Brandon. Well, okay. So here's the thing in numerology, too. They believe that. If that's what it comes out to and you don't follow that path, you have issues in your life. True. That's what they so, do say. Based on numerology, that's how he should have been and he would be at peace with his life. He went against it. Well what happened? Spent most of his life in prison. Right? Okay. Yeah. So But also like you said, he never really went by Charles Miles Manson. Yeah, he probably he went, went by, by Charlie. Charlie. So maybe if we ran Charlie. by Charlie, maybe it yeah. would come out different. It's interesting. It's actually interesting. All 
right. Okay, guys, we want to... <laughs> Lori says, maybe it doesn't work for psychopaths. <laughs> and like Sean said, though, maybe if they go against that, that's what causes problems. You never know. Causes problems with the harmony within your life. There you go. You know, this is this is a holistic type thing, you know. And actually, the one documentary that we wrote, they were covering... Watched. You didn't, you didn't write, write, write the documentary. documentary. <laughs> I need more coffee. The one that we watched... Yeah. It was part of a series for um, alter alternative medicine and stuff. You know, they were doing yoga and that kind of stuff and numerology and, and, and things like that. So, yeah. Interesting stuff. Well, I think it's time for us to wrap it up. All right. Hope you liked the, the topic. Don't know what we're going to do next week. I have no clue. We'll be back next Saturday. I'm sure the last Saturday before I have to go back and start serving my sentence again. <laughs> he gets to go back to work in one week. I got, I have two. Yeah, shut up. I'll switch you. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for coming and playing with us. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed yourself. And uh, see you soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spread the word. Share the utility out. Let's see how many people. Let's see how many people used it. Uh, Twenty nine. Oh, thirty one. Not bad. All right, guys. Hey, until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. Let us know if you like this video by hitting that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from us in the future, support our channel by hitting that subscribe button and dinging that bell so you get notified the next time there's a video from Panic D Video. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. <laughs>